So I have a 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan and I am going to add an Ease Lift 800 pound tongue weight, 10,000 pound weight rating, bent bar, weight distribution hitch with adjustable ball mount, and bolt together adjustable shank. I got it off Amazon and I'll slap the link down in the description below. The box is pretty beat up, but I'm not surprised this thing is crazy heavy. It looks like everything is here. I got the main hitch chunk, the trailer clamps, the very beefy and heavy 5.5 inch riser shank, change in hardware, and the bars of course, beefy, beefy bars, very heavy. And of course the bar used to tighten the chains with the trailer clamp. Now the only thing left to do is put this thing together and mount it on the van. Okay, today is a new day. And I'm gonna take this outside and plug it in, like mount it. I'm gonna do my best. It weighs a ton. Oh, good thing I'm so jacked. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a gorgeous evening. So tomorrow we leave to go on our first camping trip of 2020. All right, ease lift. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go get the van. I'll be right back. Should have gone the other way. Look out, bird. Coming to get you. Woo! <laughs> As you can see, I put in the two giant bolts. This brace is set to its highest lift setting, which is what this van needs because it's so low and this is so high. Um, these are conical washers apparently necessary for this position in the top. At least that's what the instruction said. This is adjustable and apparently allows you to set the setting for the angle of the hitch itself. Right now, I'm just gonna slide this in here. I'm gonna see what we got. I'll use this pin. I have a locking pin, but for now, I'm gonna use the one they provided. Okay. Wow, look at that beefy thing. Ease lift. Nice pretty chains. And these nice little hoops. Chain on one side, chain on the other. Hoop on one side, hoop on the other. So we need the very end of a chain. Loop as such. Oh, that's a lock nut, I think. It is. That's gonna take some force to get those on. Okay. It's actually quite the simple mechanism. I mean, the more I look at it, the more impressed I am with the idea of it, using the fulcrum of the hitch point as the bending point, as the leverage point, with these giant bars. It takes a lot of force to do that. Okay. Now let's test fit these. I'm gonna back this off, see how it fits and where it fits. I don't have much choice on this side. I don't even know how this is going to work. If at all. Oh, wait. Am I thinking about this all wrong? I am. This is going to work perfectly, I think. So we drop down. We take the bolt all the way out. It goes here. And then we go underneath. I thought this was going to be in the way for the bolt, but it's not. So do you see what I'm doing here? I'm just gonna run this down by hand. We're gonna do a loose fit. It's so nice too, cause this is thick, heavy box steel, not a lightweight frame, but very, very beefy. Same exact design on this side. I'm gonna be so impressed if these bars actually fit and line up to this location. It's gonna make me think they actually considered load levelers and planned this intentionally. Couldn't be, could it? Okay. Fantastical. This comes down. 
the chains are gonna go like this. You see that? Wow, it does. I'm so impressed. This is an intentional cutout for this. These guys think of everything. So impressed. All right, let's continue to set it up. Look at this. It's the coolest. All right, I'm gonna back up a little more. I gotta, uh, hmm. I got the camper open. It's a long story. I can't close it yet. So, but I'm trying to fit and size this stuff. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and tight it down, tighten it down, and assume. I'm in good shape. Where do these go? Oh, I see. Look at this. These go up here. There's a grease dirt on here. How cool. It looks like it should just pop in. Oh, it does. And then you probably turn them to get them to come out. Oh, I see. This pin, can you see that? This pin comes out as you push them up. Oh, this is gonna be so amazing. I'm gonna have to be like here, here. Dudes, this is working out perfect. This is the right piece for this. I'm gonna tighten everything down and finish this up tomorrow morning because I need to close the entire camper, pull it up onto the flat spot on the driveway and then connect everything. Bugs. All right, cool. Great first step today. Thanks. Thanks. See you tomorrow morning. So that looks like that's where it's going to sit. So until I get on level ground, though, it won't be adjusted correctly. So right now I'm just going to tighten up these clamps. So I haven't put any real tension on it yet, but I'm gonna go up one more link and lift everything. I gotta put the trailer back down real quick or just the uh, just the stand to lift it a little and then I'm gonna go up one more link. I took some tension off the chain. I'm gonna remove the clip and go up one more link. Mom. All right. Mom. Look at that. Third line. Okay. All right, so now we got some tension on the chains. We're on more level surface here. Oh, I just cut myself. The chain's got some sharp slag on it. <laughs> now that's the way it's done. Yeah! So we're on the road finally. And uh, everybody's a little slap happy. It took us a while. We got all the kayaks, five kayaks loaded, three on the roof of the van, two on the back of the cam uh, the camper, and we had load, weight distribution, load leveling, weight distribution hitch connected and working. And the van feels fantastic. I think we have found the answer. It really is strong and stable, and the back of the van sitting right up in the air and the steering control is vastly improved. So good move, highly recommend, highly recommend if you have a very heavy load on a minivan that you get a weight distribution hitch right away. Thanks for watching. Peace. Everybody peace. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, I got that. I got those bars tight. Van feels like a truck. <laughs>